Okay, so we have a common model for learning that has an equation similar to, and then here's this equation they give us, where k is the percentage of mastery that can be achieved after t practice sessions. Okay, this is a transformation of the function f of t. Okay, that function is right there. That's f of t. Okay, sketch a graph of k of t. Okay. Now, so you have to look at k of t and say, well, what's going on? That has three transformations to it, okay? The um, negative sign here in front of the t, that's going to reflect about um, the y-axis. And then the negative here, that's going to reflect about the x-axis and then the one that's going to shift up it's going to shift the whole thing up now we're going to do the transformations in that order we're going to reflect it about the y i'll do that in green then i'm going to reflect it about the x i'm going to do that in orange and then finally i'm going to shift the whole thing up one now i'm going to do all those reflections um transformations i should say on this graph, on the graph where f of t is. Then I'll put my final answer on the other graph, okay, because it's going to get messy. All right, so first, the green part says, reflect about y. Okay, so that means this point here is going to go over here, and this point here that where the arrow's kind of going off to negative 5, it's going to go off to positive 5. And then that point right there, right on the y-axis, that's going to stay put. So it's going to look like this. So the easiest way to graph these is to look for points that you know and move them, like reflect them, and then you can sketch what the graph is supposed to look like. But that looks pretty good. That's a reflection about the y-axis. So that's the reflection. Well, I don't want to write that. I'm going to write what piece it is. So that is like having 2 to the negative t, okay, for that function, one in green. Okay, now we're going to take the green one, and we're going to reflect about the x-axis. So my point up here um, at negative 2, 4 is going to be at negative 2, negative 4. It's going to come down there. And then my point here that was at 0, 1 is going to be at 0, negative 1. And then the point here it's kind of like at the axis it's going to be there okay then that's going to be the reflection about the um x-axis so if i had to say hey what's this function it would be like g of x is equal to the opposite of 2 to the opposite of t to the power of the opposite of t okay so if you take each reflection one at a time then you know it's not too bad okay then I have to do the final thing. I have to do k. Oops. I'm going to do that in black. k is, I used x. They should be t's. That's a t though. Sorry. Um, negative 2 to the negative t, so the orange curve, plus 1. So I move all of them up 1. So it's going to come up here. It's going to come up here. And then it's going to come up like here. So it's going to go like that. That's the actual answer there. <laughs> okay, so now let's see if I can transfer that to this other piece of graph paper. It looks like I had a point here at 0, 0. It's kind of going off toward positive 5. Um, it's like an asymptote there at uh, 1. And then I had negative 2, 3. i got to scroll up a little bit. So that's the final answer. That's k of t. Oops, k of t. Okay.